Mary said, My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, because the Lord has looked upon his lonely handmaid. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we draw close to the journey of this year, and as we seek God's blessings in this Eucharist, let us prepare our hearts and minds by acknowledging our human weakness. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to choose the Blessed Virgin Mary as the chamber where your word would dwell. Grant, we pray, that under her protection, we may participate joyfully in her commemoration. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. I, Daniel, was deeply disturbed, and the visions that passed through my head alarmed me. So I approached one of those who were standing by and asked him to tell me the truth about all this. And in reply, he revealed to me what these things meant. These four great beasts are four kings who will rise from the earth. Those who are granted sovereignty are the saints of the Most High, and the kingdom will be theirs forever, forever and ever. Then I asked to know the truth about the fourth beast, different from all the rest, very terrifying, with iron teeth and bronze claws, eating, crushing, and trampling underfoot what remained, and the truth about the ten horns on its head, and why the other horns sprouted, and the three original horns fell, and why this horn had eyes and a mouth that was full of boasts, and why it had made a greater show than the other horns. This was the horn I had watched making war on the saints and proving the stronger, until the coming of the one of great age who gave judgment in favor of the saints of the Most High, 
when the time came for the saints to take over the kingdom. This is what he said. The fourth beast is to be a fourth kingdom on earth, different from all other kingdoms. It will devour the whole earth, trample it underfoot, and crush it. As for the ten horns, from this kingdom will rise ten kings and another after them. This one will be different from the previous ones and will bring down three kings. He is going to speak words against the Most High and harass the saints of the Most High. He will consider changing seasons and the law, and the saints will be put into his power for a time, two times, and half a time. But a court will be held, and his power will be stripped from him, consumed and utterly destroyed. And sovereignty and kingship and the splendors of all the kingdoms under heaven will be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty, and every empire will serve and obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Sons of men, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Israel, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Priests, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Spirits and souls of the virtuous, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Devout and humble-hearted men, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. And stand ready, because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, you o Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be caused with debauchery and drunkenness and the cares of life, and that they will be sprung on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come down on every living person on the face of the earth. Stay awake, praying at all times for the strength to survive all that is going to happen and to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Give glory and eternal praise to him. 
we are at the final day. It's the last day, the last step, as we draw close to everything on this journey. And usually, at most times, when one is at the final moments, there is always this intense, intense deepening of that checkered flag or that final line. We have with us the continuation of the book of Daniel, the vision of Daniel, and the words of Jesus to deepen us on this very day. We have the story of the dream of Daniel and how he understands these four Bs, this sovereignty of that kingdom which collapses in different moments. Every moment just collapses and collapses and collapses and everything disappears in that chaos, in that turmoil. And only one that remains was the eternal sovereignty, the kingdom of God. It started off this week, the king, the kingdom and relationships. In the first reading, do you know what the word is? Anyone? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. The word is the saints. In all those moments, the saints triumphed. In all those chaos, the saints were above. In all those moments, the saints came out. It's the first thing we did on All Saints Day. When John, in his book of Revelation, asked, Who are these people dressed in white in this vision that I am having? Who are these men and women? And the vision from the Lord came. These are the men and women who went through all these trials and persecution and hardships but remain faithful till the end. These are the saints. And these are the ones we end this day on that first reading. The saints who went through everything and came out as the holy ones. Who came out as those who were faithful to God. Six times it's repeated in the first reading. <sighs> My dear sisters and brothers, as we draw close, the words of Jesus is very strong today. Very strong today. He says, stay awake. Be very, very careful of what is happening around you. And he gives three warnings. First is debauchery. Simply means excessive indulgence. That means you get into something and you become so addictive into it. You are just manipulated by it. And you lose that sense of where you are going, of that focus of what you are in this world. Secondly, he says, be careful of drunkenness. It's not about the alcohol. It's about when you're drunk with so many things in this world. Drunkenness, intoxicated. Francis was intoxicated with God's love. When you're intoxicated with materialism and consumerism and individualism, everything that grabs you into this world, and the third thing Jesus says is, be careful of all those worries of this world. You always worry what is going to happen today, what is going to happen tomorrow. Just three things Jesus tells us. My dear sisters and brothers, the curtains are drawn. It is the final day. I fought the good fight. I kept the faith. I finished the race. I fought the good fight. I kept the faith and I finished the race. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, these offerings of reconciliation and praise, and we humbly ask that following the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, as we step into the Eucharist this morning, I just like to invite you to pray for all the confirmants today, this 19 young men and women who will be sealed with the sacrament of confirmation that God will fill them with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, Father, with angels and saints, we declare your glory, and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now the body and the blood of Christ. Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of this spiritual food, we pray, Lord our God, that imitating the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, we may always be found intent on service to the Church and humanity, and may know the joys of doing your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the Synod. We stand, we stand before, before you, you, Holy Spirit, Spirit as we gather, gather together, together in, in your name. With you alone, you alone to guide, guide us. us. Make, Make yourself, yourself at home in our hearts. Teach, teach us the way we must go. go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed weekend and stay safe. Same to you, Father.